Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this dog training collar. Here's the brand name. Dog hair and the model is TC01. It's got some uh, highlights printed on the box. And information printed on the bottom here. This pamphlet shows there are other products just to the side for now. This pamphlet here is the manual. <laughs> nice humorous way of coloring their manual. Here's the remote control functions. And the specs are on the last page here. Here's the silicone caps for the shock part and a short micro USB cable. For the dog collar piece, hmm. yeah, definitely need to use the caps. On the top, this is that charging port, micro USB charging port. On off, let me just, I'll turn it on shortly. Before I turn it on, here's the remote. On top is the on off. Hmm, very simple on off. Pretty, pretty low battery, fast bar. Turn this on too then. It says hold it for two seconds. Very cool. Yep. I feel very strong vibration. Currently it's locked. The unlock it. Pretty loud beep. You feel the vibration piece. Pretty strong vibration too. On the bottom of the controller there's a lanyard loop and the charging ports right here. The controller is plastic. Um, it would be nicer if there's some rubber texture to it. That way it's not as slippery. The only part that's not slippery is the front piece. Because it's got the buttons. Here's the dog collar strap. Completely adjustable on both sides before it meets the buckle. I placed the silicone caps onto the shock piece of the collar. But as we can tell right here, there's still a little piece Bit exposed. I don't think that would cause issues with hair, but if the dog was really wet, that might cause a problem. So when he goes following alongside of me nicely, always aware of what I'm doing. I think she's come to uh, be on her best behavior when she sees me holding the remote. I've been using this training collar for a few weeks now, and I've only charged it once. The battery life, it's really good. On a full charge, it can last well over a week. We're not having the dog wear it constantly, just whenever the dog leaves the house to play, to walk, do her business. And as for the signal strength, my home, like my backyard, it's about 2,000, over 2,000 square feet. It's not that big. It was more than enough to cover my, my property. I like that it has this lock feature here. This is very important. So I'm not pressing anything by mistake because of the big orange button. But when I do need to press something, oh, someone's walking by my house right now. Man goes observing a person. I unlocked it. Man goes still behaving. 
yeah, see, see, it's, uh, after a few days, she's definitely remained calmer, more composed when someone walks by. All right, someone walks by, and <laughs> now that they're completely by, she gets up. But let me just press the beep button. Mango, come. Oh, I don't need to press the beep. The beep is, it acts like a, like, hey, remember to listen, behave. And if she's really barking her, barking her head off, then I'll use a, the buzz to vibrate. Right now, I'll press the beep. Watch her head. She just slowly comes to me. This unit was sent to me for review. I do like it. It is very practical, great battery life, and I would recommend it. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Awkward Hamster. Bye.